at the meme. Every year, uh, we come across some students who, uh, after the exam gets over, tell us that they could not complete the paper. They left around 10, 20 questions in the end. And the moment we hear this, we have the sinking feeling inside, knowing that this is going to make it very difficult for this candidate to get a very good rank. So, in the same sense, those people who go for the exam and who are not able to complete all the 19 subjects. And every year this happens, we hear the stories, we are hearing it from so many years, that when students go for the exam, when they are in a crunch, when they don't have time to revise, when they cannot do all the subjects, then they leave a few subjects. And it's some subjects or the other that they tell, okay, sir, I could not do these, these, these subjects. And that also gets the same kind of feeling. We know that that, that really reduces the chances of this candidate to get a good rank. The point that means is, key, when you're going for an exam like NEET or INICT, it's imperative, it's very important that you do all these subjects. Don't leave any subject and go. The next question you'll have is, Ki, sir, if I have such short time, and in this short time that I that I have at my disposal, then uh, how is it possible for me to do all the 19 subjects? Uh, because they ask questions in so much depth in our exams. I think the answer to that uh, DBMC has come up in a very nice way by this power course. And uh, what we have tried to do in this power course, at least what I'm planning to do in the power course in medicine is key, cover most of the important topics that they are repeatedly asking in the exam, touch upon the important topics in medicine, let's say in endocrinology, all the important areas that they're asking questions in the exam, in cardiology, like arrhythmias, ischemic heart disease, the difficult topics, that's one. Secondly, the important topics that are circulating in the exam nowadays. Third, the new things that have come, new guidelines that have come. So we're trying to do those in general, uh, the four days of medicine that I'm going to do, I hope to touch upon all the important areas that they will be asking. Now it's not possible to complete the entire medicine in that, I agree. But at least for those who are going for the exam, they'll have some confidence that this is, um, you know, I have covered all the important difficult areas, first of all, for us, and also has touched upon all the important zones that are in circulation currently that can be asked in the coming exams. So this is the effort that we have done. I hope you find this um, beneficial and I hope you all uh, do well in your coming exams. Thank you so much.